Studio Classroom is Record Studio Classroom Hello, welcome to Studio Classroom on the air. I know your English will improve today. My name is Gabe. Now, what if all of the people of the world were replaced by robots? This is the theme of many movies, including The Terminator and even one of the Iron Man movies. A lot of the movies make artificial intelligence seem like a bad thing. However, There are a lot of benefits to AI technologies. The title of today's lesson is Artificial Intelligence. Well, today we'll take a look at how the world is making use of artificial intelligence. Let's find out now how. I'll be back. Artificial Intelligence We aren't living in a world controlled by computers, yet. But we are living in a world that relies more and more on AI for enhanced efficiency. These technologies can already be found in a number of surprising places. Newspapers, design companies, film studios and law firms are all making use of the technology. Often, the technology is used to do the heavy lifting of repetitive tasks so that professionals can work more productively. Admittedly, the tasks AI does are often the things done by low or entry-level employees. Welcome to Language Lab. 首先，我们看的是 enhance 这个动词。e n 这个字首是指使如何如何。h a n c e 有高的意思，所以 enhance 就是指提高或增强。例如 ，a well-designed classroom can enhance students' learning. 一间设计完善的教室可以提升学生的学习力。或者是 ，the company's charity campaign successfully enhanced their image. 这家公司的公益活动成功的提升了他们的形象。它的名词是字尾加上 m e n t 变成 enhancement。例如 ，extra bonuses and holidays are often used as performance enhancement incentives。额外的奖金跟假期经常被用来当做提升工作表现的奖励方式。继续，我们看 repetitive 这个形容词 ，r e 这个字首是指再一次。P E T 这个字根有追求的意思，所以 repetitive 是指重复性的或者是反复的。注意它的中音是在第二个音节念成 repetitive。例如 ，After the first few episodes, the show became boring and repetitive。经过头几集之后，这个节目就变得无趣，而且一直有重复性。它的名词是 repetition，R E P E T I T I O N。是一个不可数名词，而且重音一到了第三个音节念成 repetition。例如 ，children enjoy the repetition of chants。孩子们非常喜欢童谣中的反复的句型。Thank you, Michelle. Okay, everybody, I am back. Gabe, why do you sound Indian? What? That's not an Indian accent. I'm I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. Wait, you didn't sound anything like him. Why were you trying to sound like Arnold in the first place? Oh, because Rebecca, he was artificial intelligence. He was kind of a robot in the movie The Terminator.、Mm, huh? Got it. Right? I never saw The Terminator. Oh well, you probably wouldn't like it because、mm. you don't like violent movies. No, I really don't actually. Okay, well, it's a good thing I haven't seen that movie. That was good acting, Gabe. Right. Good, but I got to work on my Austrian accent. Yeah, you do got to work on it a little bit. But I'm happy to talk more about AI. 
okay. artificial intelligence. Then let's do that. All right. We aren't living in a world controlled by computers yet. I like that <laughs> word, yet. Sorry. But we're heading in that direction, right? Well, exactly. Maybe. Kind of. Actually, I don't think so. I mean, I don't think our world's ever going to be controlled by computers. Do you? I don't know. I guess only time will tell.、Hmm. But I did see something very interesting on the news recently. What? I saw this the store where they didn't have anybody to check you out. Have you seen that? That's you just, right. You just go inside, and then they have these cameras or robots or whatever, and they're able to sense when you take something off the shelf and put it in your cart, and when you put it back on the shelf, and then you just walk out, and they bill you automatically. That is actually quite a good use of this kind of technology, I think.、Hmm. However, some people might be worried about losing their jobs if all stores. Um, used that technology. Well, we continue reading here, but we are living in a world that relies more and more on AI for enhanced efficiency. That is the idea, okay, to make things more efficient. These technologies can already be found in a number of surprising places: newspapers, design companies, film studios, and law firms are all making use. Of the technology. Now, before we continue,、yeah. we just think this is a good phrase for you to know. Okay, to make use of something, it's another way of saying that you're using something. It's the idea that you're intentionally using something for a purpose. For example, if you have an oven, I really think that you should make use of that oven. Don't let it just sit in your kitchen. Use it. That reminds me、uh-huh. of、uh, where I used to live.、Mm-hmm. I had you in mind. Yeah, you did, huh?、Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, Steve and Angus and I, us three roommates, we didn't use that oven very often. Actually, I'm very happy that Angus is making use of that oven more and more often. Good job, Angus. Right. Yes, he's definitely making use of that oven more and more often.、Mm-hmm. But I remember thinking, why do the boys have such a nice oven? They never. They're not making use of that oven. I could use that <laughs> oven. Well, do you remember what Steve said? Yes. He said if you ever came over, you can make something and then just give ten percent of whatever cookies or whatever you made to us after you make use of our nice oven. Right. I never actually、uh, followed up on that offer. That's okay. I think we've made a lot of use of this phrase.、Um, let's continue with our <laughs> lesson about artificial intelligence. Often, the technology is used to do the Heavy lifting of repetitive tasks, so that professionals can work more productively. Now, I personally think that this phrase "heavy lifting" should have quotations around it because heavy lifting is what you do in a gym. You're you're lifting weights or you're carrying or moving something that is very heavy. So that's the idea. Okay, it's to do the more demanding things. Exactly. Well, let's go ahead and move on. Admittedly, the tasks AI does are often the things done by low or entry level employees. Now we see this word "admittedly." It kind of reminds me of the word to admit something. Exactly.、Mm-hmm. That's the idea here. It's it's a kind of a fun word to know. Admittedly, okay. You use this when you want to confess a truth or a fact. That might go against the point that you're trying to make. It's almost like saying, "Okay, I have to admit this." For example, let's say that you want to hire a new employee,、mm-hmm. and someone comes along, and they seem like a great choice, but you don't feel right about it. You might say, "Admittedly, John is very smart." But do you really think he's the right person for the job? And in our lesson, we read: Admittedly, the tasks AI does are often the things done by low or entry-level employees. Okay, our author doesn't want to admit this because that's like saying it's true. Job security might be an issue. You might need to be afraid about that. But you see those words "entry-level" in our lesson. This means this is talking about new employees, someone who is very new. 
to the company. And of course, you could have an entry-level employee, but you can also use this word to describe other things, like an entry-level computer. That is a computer that's not as, I guess, advanced as maybe a more expensive computer. Well, I think it's time for us to pull the plug on this part of our lesson and go to the, the info, info cloud. cloud. We'll be back. Hello, friends. Welcome to Info Cloud. Rex, you look awfully tired. Is everything okay? Ah,、uh, yes. I have been working on a very difficult project lately. I haven't been getting enough sleep, and the project isn't going so well. Some people suggest that I pull the plug on this one, but I'm not the type of person that gives up so easily. Now you just used a great phrase: pull the plug. When we pull the plug on an electronic device like a computer, the power supply is cut off. And it shuts down immediately. That's right. So when we say we want to pull the plug on something, it means that we want to end or stop something completely. Mike's business was losing money, so he decided to pull the plug. This phrase can be used literally as well. For example, the student band was playing so loudly that the principal. Pulled the plug to stop the music. 在电子产品当道的年代，你可以想象一个不插电的生活吗 ？Pull the plug 在字面上的意思是把插头拔起来，让电脑或是任何需要电力的产品完全断电，无法继续运作。因此 ，pull the plug 也可以用来表达任何你想要终止或中断的计划案、生意。甚至是一个公司。Mike pulled the plug on his business. Mike 结束了他的生意。当然，你也可以照着字面上的意思来使用这个惯用语。His dad pulled the plug on his computer. 他的父亲把电脑的插头拔掉，可能是因为他玩太多的网络游戏了。这就是今天的 Info Cloud。我们下次云端见。Studio Classroom is on the air. Welcome back to Studio Classroom. So the world has not been taken over by computers or artificial intelligence yet, according to our lesson. However, a lot of technology does rely on AI. And there are many、uh, entry-level jobs that use artificial intelligence instead of real people, like you and I. So, does this mean that robots are going to replace humans? Well, let's find out more about this idea now. Artificial intelligence, but that. Hasn't necessarily spelled doom and gloom for human workers. In recent years, for example, AI-driven translation has dramatically increased the amount of material a human translator can process each day. But the easy availability of translation has also led to an increased need for translators. As a result, the industry and its human translators. Often struggle to keep up with demand. There is no doubt that AI is changing how we live and work in very complex ways. That makes AI an important trend to watch, but not to panic about yet. OK， 接下来我们看 doom and gloom 这个名词。Doom 是指厄运 ，gloom 是指沮丧，所以 doom and gloom 加在一起就是指前景暗淡，或者是悲观失望的氛围。
例如 ，after the failure of the latest project, our team exudes the feeling of doom and gloom. 最后一次提案的败北之后，我们的团队呈现一种前景暗淡的氛围。或者是 even though there is a lot of doom and gloom due to the recession, we need to be positive about the future. 尽管因为经济衰退而出现前景暗淡的氛围，我们对未来仍需保持乐观。最后，我们看的是 translation 这个名词 ，t r a n s 这个字首有跨越的意思，所以 translation 是指翻译，特别是指文字的翻译。例如 ，the English translation of the French word bonjour. Is have a nice day. 法文的 bonjour 翻译成英文是指日安。课文中还提到它的另外一个名词是 translator， 意思是指译者。例如 ，the translator of these documents must know the related legal terms. 翻译这些文件的译者必须熟悉相关的法律专有名词。And now let's get back to our teachers. Oh, this is just what I feared. My partner would be replaced by a robot. Put your hands up. <laughs> That's pretty good, Rebecca. Yes, you are Rebecca, right?、Uh, of course, I'm Rebecca. Hey there, Gabe. I really like this this outfit. Well, maybe we should make our own version of the Terminator movie,、uh, just not as violent. And you could be the artificial intelligence, the robot. This is kind of fun. I feel like I'm acting a little bit. Okay. Well, we do have things to talk about, right? Yes, we do. Okay. So we read on here,、um, but that hasn't necessarily spelled doom and gloom for human workers. Okay. So AI does often do things that entry-level employees might do, but it doesn't mean the end of the world for people who are scared about losing their jobs. Okay. Don't worry about that. We read on in recent years, for example, AI-driven translation has dramatically increased in the amount of material a human translator can process each day. Hmm. So we see the word,、um, or we see translation. Now, what is the name of a person、mm -hmm. that translates stuff?、Uh, well, I guess, I guess you could say that person is a. Translator. Oh, a translator. So a person that translates things is a translator. Yeah, exactly. But what's the difference between you know translating something and interpreting something? Yeah, that is something we wanted to talk about, friends, because the word translate appears in our lesson, and some people have this question because、uh, there is a difference. All right, usually translating is referring to somebody writing in their own language, but they're But they're translating something from another language, and in this picture you see some people talking, right? Okay, so this person is interpreting; they're doing it orally. So that is one of the main differences between translating and interpreting. Someone might interpret orally, whereas you translate written. For example,、mm -hmm. let's say someone needs to do some translation work. You could say, "Yes, you know." Jimmy had to sit at his computer for hours translating these papers. Or let's say that you go to a conference, and the conference is in a language that you don't speak. That's not your own, but there's an interpreter. You could say that, well, the interpreter did a great job interpreting the speaker's message. That's right. So that's how we usually use these words. But I do have to say, and Rebecca, you might agree with me that. If we're at a church and it's a bilingual church, we would use the word translate, even though the person is speaking. We would still use the word translate. Oh, she's translating for the pastor, or he's、mm -hmm. translating the message. That's right. We continue on, but the easy availability of translation has also led to an increased need for translators. As a result, the industry and its human translators often struggle to keep up with demand. Okay, so the idea is that we still do need a lot of human skill, right? Well, we see this phrase here to keep up with something. That means to stay at the same pace as something else, to stay at the same fast pace. For example, my brother Christopher is such a fast runner; it's hard to keep up with him. Even if he's running, and I'm riding a bike. <laughs> well, 
He must really be a fast runner. Oh, he is very fast. Nice, good example. So let's go down to the last par the last paragraph here. There is no doubt that AI will change how we live and work in very complex ways. Okay, complex. It's kind of like the word complicated, but it means many levels or not easy to understand right away. So let's say that you watch a film or a movie, and the story is very complex. You could say the film story was very complex. I had a hard time following it. Oh, that's like the movie The Big Short.、Mm. It, it's a very complicated and, and complex, a very deep movie. I think. Well, we read that makes AI an important trend to watch, but not to panic about. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Yet. Yes. Well, right now it is time for us to review with a review skit. Careful with that guy. Oh, right. Hey, this is my office. Who are you? Hello, Hello. I, I am artificial, artificial intelligence, intelligence, but you, you can, can call, call me AI. AI. Technology that lets machines do things that require thinking. Yes, but actually, I do more than just one thing. I help machines acquire, understand, and use information to perform tasks. People describe you in different ways, right? Terms like machine learning, cognitive computing, and deep learning, right? Those terms are common. So you know about me? Oh yes, your recent developments have received a lot of media attention. Please welcome me. I make a lot of things possible. Yeah, but you also produce fear and caution. True. Many are concerned about my effect on their jobs. Right. What will happen when you arrive? My technology isn't coming. Look, it's already here.、Uh, already here, but we're not controlled by computers. No, not yet. But you rely on me more and more for enhanced efficiency. True, you can be found in a number of surprising places. Newspapers, design companies, film studios, and law firms. They all make use of my technology. Yes, you often do the heavy lifting of repetitive tasks. So professionals like you can work more productively. I admit you do tasks often done by entry-level employees. And has that spelled doom and gloom? No, I don't think so. But you are changing the ways we live and work. There is no doubt about that. That makes you an important trend to watch. Fine, but no need to panic yet. Okay, Gabe, I'm ready for action. What kind of action, Rebecca? Put that gun down.、Oh. <laughs> If anybody needs to refrain from being violent, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, it's been fun talking about AI. Yeah. Yeah, it has actually. But、yeah. I really do hope that our jobs are not replaced by robots. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, friends, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time right here on Studio Classroom. A good friend lasts a lifetime. I am so proud to have you in my life. A good friend lasts a lifetime.